Uh oh. Hey, you! Huh? Hey, you! Yeah, jerk! I saw you making eyes at my Eunice! Oh god, this idiot. Sorry, pal. I don't have time for a fight. What are you, chicken? Why you? Why you? I'll never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. <laughs> All right, fella. I think you're done for the night. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Uh, nothing. I... Ah! Trixie? Break silver cue ball. Whatever you say, babe. What was that? If she kill somebody? It wasn't Arthur. He, Marty wouldn't be here. No. Why? Ah, oh, this control. <laughs> Sound like gun gunshots? I don't know what that was. Uh oh. Artie? <laughs> you missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So, I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny, subpoena answering rat, Artie McFly. <laughs> and get this the little worms whisper in a way I'll conquistadorial like with my Trixie! Oh, no. Naturally, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's head. Which causes Artie's nose to start bleeding because he's a big wuss. And then... <laughs> and then... <laughs> what? Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live! <laughs> huh? Seriously, down on the knees crying and begging for McFly's life! So, uh, what did you do? What could I do? I fired two shots in the air and told Artie to take a hike. <laughs> oh, that was merciful. Hey, I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now Trixie owes me big time. And Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Always. Great, so... Lost him again. Now it's still up there. What the heck do I do now? Oh. How am I supposed to figure that out? Welcome back, sir. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Sure. Hey, that looks like that Artie McFly think. <laughs> I never noticed that before. Hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? <laughs> Voila! <laughs> nice job. Now go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. I hit the lift, not the stairs. Yeah, I figure I have to put on the Wall of Fame or whatever. Welcome back, sir. Yeah, Leah, let me in. What's it gonna take to get Trixie okay. to squeal on Kid? Stop saying that. Sorry about this, Dad. <laughs> Checkerboard Charlie, 
removed from the board. I guess someone jumped him. Hmm. You in? Eight rats. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? About Artie McFly. What about him? Have you heard from him? Is he okay? I think something bad might have happened to him. What? You mean Kid went back on his promise? Uh, yeah, uh, that's right. Oh, no! Oh, poor Artie! Poor sweet little Artie! I know. That rattlesnake kid! He can't get away with this! You gonna turn over the evidence you got against him? Am I ever! Just watch me! Wait a minute! What evidence do you have that kid bumped Artie off? Um, it's just a hunch. Keep your hunches for the racetrack! It ain't nice to get a girl all worked up over unsubstantiated rumors! The Wall of Fame. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. Why? What is it? Artie! I don't believe it! We had a deal! Artie was supposed to be... safe! I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Felony tax evasion. What? Before he died, Artie was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting... And I made a big discovery while I was copying all of Kid's books. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. Really? Oh, I knew about all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys like Kid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, well, cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. Once I turn this over to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book? Hey, copper! Hmm. <sighs> He's not interested. Figures. Half the police force is in Tannen's pocket. Give me a few minutes to work on him. I've got a hunch he'll come around. Boss? I'm talking about Carl Sagan. I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. Are you mm. crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. Oh. You in? Two. <sighs> I forget that. Danny. You. You. No, See you so later, Danny. I'll be here. So the same things you could ask him. How do you open the wall? So what I have to do? I guess I do have to talk to him about Danny. his troubles. You. So about those troubles. I'm not really in the mood to talk about him right now. I just want to drink and listen to Trixie. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? I really like your voice. Thanks. You should hear me when I ain't so under the weather. You're sick? Oh, yeah. Sore throat. That's why I'm giving Q-Ball so many extended solos tonight. I kind of wondered about that. 
Hey, your songs seem to have a big effect on Officer Parker over there. I am humbled and gratified that my musical gifts have fallen upon such receptive ears. Do you know Sister Christian? I don't do religious tunes. Sister Christian. I don't care. But what are those? Are they lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. Even though you were singing them earlier. Thanks. All right, it's taking too long. Maybe I have to change the thing. Secret song. Those troubles. Uh, I'm not really in the mood to talk uh, about it right now. I just want to drink and listen to Trixie. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. I'm try the happy one. Set to this game. Come on. Every morning, every evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey, ain't we got fun? The rent's unpaid, dear. We haven't a bun. But smiles were made, dear, for people Danny, like us. You. So about those troubles. Troubles? Ha! <laughs> I don't want to talk about all that depressing stuff. I want a party! Whee! Oh, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to put on the sad song. Alright, it's got to be the sad one. Those troubles. It all started on uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys when this uh, this car straight out of Buck Rogers popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later no. I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then to top it off. I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. <laughs> Not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist. I thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me. Cause she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty, as in Jennifer's grandma, Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that shit sailed. What the heck was 